All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna learn how to add a video to Elementor and your WordPress blog and website. But not only that, we're gonna learn how to add a video on this really clean, featured sort of page where your video pops with a border and a little background blur. I forgot what this is even called, where it's like uh, popping out and uh, uh, uh. drop shadow, that's what it's called. So yeah, let's see how to do it. Let's click Edit with Elementor, and let's see how we made the page. Okay, so pretty quickly you can see we have just one large section here, which is denoted by the outer blue area. And then inside that section we have a heading, and then beneath that we have a video, which is centered. And then beneath the video we have another section which has two columns of text editor, and the one on the right is actually an icon list. So to get our video inserted, we basically just put in this video element. Go to your elements and you drag in the video. We put that in right beneath our header here. So here's the video. And once we inserted the video element, we just dropped in a YouTube link. The source is, of course, YouTube. That's where we publish all of our stuff. And by the way, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is an amazing feeling when we get a new subscriber and someone actually wants to learn more about WordPress from us, and I know you have a really busy schedule that only seems to get busier and busier, so that's why I really appreciate it. And so you have your video link, and then now you go down and you have your video options. So video options mean things like, do we display this title here? Or do we display this play button? So we can decide that right here. Like, we can decide to autoplay it, which is gonna play. Or you can decide to hide the player controls, or show them. All right, so those are just different features on the video. Like you can see that when we show the player controls, you don't get the YouTube symbol in the lower right, but when you hide them, then you do get the YouTube symbol. So different things to play around with, and I'm also not sure if you can hide the play button here because why would you want to? You always want people to be able to click play on your videos. So once you've inserted your video, it's time to actually get some style on it so people want to look at it and it doesn't just look like a random video has been dropped onto a page. So let's go to advanced and we're going to give that video some margin. So if that were a zero, then you would not have the space which pushes it inwards on the page. But if it's a seven, then it's centered better inside its little space here. The padding itself, that's going to be that white border you see. So you could of course make that bigger, but that looks like it's a little bit too big. So one pixel works well. And then that drop shadow is actually gonna be in the border. So we're gonna choose border and then box shadow. So it's actually a box shadow and not a drop shadow. And you just have to turn it on and click it right there and then you'll get the style that we see right here pretty much. Although you can change how the box shadow interacts with the video too. All right, so this is the majority of what's going on right here with this video. Again, it's just centered in the middle of the page so that everyone can focus on it. And then beneath the video, we have some text explaining about the video and then just some icon lists right here that makes it look a little more official. Once you've created a video page like this, you can of course replicate it for your other videos on your website. Maybe your website showcases your different video features from a TV show or from anywhere else around the web. You just wanna have a website with a lot of videos. You can click on the arrow in the lower right by the update button, and you can click save as template, and that will actually make this whole page a reusable template. So you can call this like video page and save it to your library, and then when you wanna make another video page, you just load it up and change the link to the video, the description, but you have all the formatting. All right, guys and gals, so that's just how I like creating a video page in Elementor and inserting a video into a post or a page in Elementor. You, of course, might have your own way of doing it, but when you use this sort of simple method, it's really easy to replicate, and you can go ahead and create a full course like I have right here, making use of some other interesting Elementor features like buttons and menu navigations. And yeah, that's how we do it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you soon.